Welcome back to Sturge Tropia. This is Sturge playing Seven Days to Die in my Seven Days to Build a Horde base series. It's uh, almost morning here on day five. I got a little zombie running around outside. Sounds like two, but it isn't. It's just one zombie. And he's going to get uh, whacked. Or he or she, whatever's out there, I'm going to whack him. I have a lot of work to do today. I need to upgrade the front of this base. I need to beat up some... Uh, well, I guess there are concrete slabs that are sitting out front. I need to take care of those. And then I need to work on another side. I don't know that I'm going to get the whole thing done today. Uh, I have enough cobblestone and... Uh, actually, rather, flagstone blocks. I made 150 more last night. And... Ow! Turn it! down. I guess I already hit your head off. Yeah, I made 150 uh, flagstone blocks last night. So I should be able to get those in play and get them on the front and the side of this and then probably tomorrow i'll end up doing the back side of it because there's a lot more digging on the back side i actually have to dig the entire length i have to break down the uh the patio back there which is wood which is much easier than these darn whatever they are cement little blocks uh but first i need to get doing some looting and get some food because i've honestly i just don't have enough food uh, I'm going to need to be, catch a pretty big break here uh, and get um, something. Uh, I, I don't know where to go, but I'm going to go out and find something. So here we are. We're running off to get uh, get some loot and find some food. Against my better judgment, I'm going to go into the school. I'm, uh, well, schools have all kinds of good stuff, right? Uh, they have, uh, books, which I'm hoping to find. They have books, they have, uh, food, because children need to eat. Um, there's a cafeteria probably somewhere in here, right? And there's probably a ton of zombies. Uh, let's see. Well, I may just need to go right up through this area here. Wake them up. Anything? Oh, here, wakey, wakey. That's good news. Hmm, let's go in here and see what we can get. Well, as predicted, there's a bookshelf. And it has paper in it. Imagine that. It's pretty exciting. Hmm. Not much else here. And the door is locked. There's some danger in actually <laughs> busting through these walls and trying to... I'm not going to do it. Maybe there's an easier way in. Maybe through the back door? No. Maybe through the back back door? No. Okay. Maybe through the jungle gym. Maybe if I run around up here... Oh, no. Nothing's going to happen. All right, this school's a waste of time. i got to go somewhere else. All right, here's that uh, house uh, that I mentioned earlier in, I think, episode one of this series that has the bunker under it, the military-style bunker. Three zombies in there. They're pretty tough. I'm not going to go down there. And that's a lot of medical equipment. There is some food down there, I'm pretty certain. Um, but, man, I'm, I'm not very good at fighting zombies presently. So, And there's a kitchen right here. I'm kind of hoping that this kitchen has some uh, some food as well. Let's uh, break in and uh, see what we can do. All right, let's break a window. Wake everybody up. It's time to party. There's a business suit guy here. There's another guy at the other door. Yep, we're coming in to raid your kitchen. Because we're hungry. Super hungry. Let's put a frame down. We'll upgrade it. That'll make it a little easier to, uh, to fight them as they slowly come through. That way I'm not getting my uh, ass kicked. As I usually do, which I really enjoy, you know, just getting smacked around by zombies. Soon I will have a gun and I will be able to shoot them. I'll probably waste all my ammo. Oh, those days are ahead, aren't they? Yeah, well, for now, we're just going to uh, let them beat on the doors for a little while. Until they come through, and then we are going to fight them. Maybe we'll help them out a little bit. Oh, okay, I can't put a second one down, it's because of the arrangement of that door. Yeah, alright, we'll upgrade this one, and then... Uh, We'll let him break through. Maybe we'll help him break through.
Well, it sure wouldn't be a zombie fight with me if I didn't get hit a few few times. Holy cow, that sucked. Oh, there's another one in here somewhere, beating on the wall. Let's kind of check through this kitchen. See how fast we can get through here. There's a cooking pot. That's not good. There is dye and some empty bottle. There's nothing. Uh, aloe vera seeds are great, but they're not food. Or some candy, but that's not actually candy. It's just a little tin. So, all right, come over here. Let's run around a little bit. I'm gonna take you. Um, oh, you're aggressive now, aren't you? Ooh, a little aggressive. This little housewife here. She's gonna run to hit me. Wow. Man, it's the second time I'm bleeding out. Lord. All right, spear you. Right in the chest. Oh, not again. Oh, I knew I was going to get hit. Well, at least there was some loot. Yeah, of course. <laughs> There's some water and some vitamins. And some aspirin, just because you're really bad at this and you're in pain. And you're hungry, still. Very hungry. There's a little floor plate here. Oh, please be something good. And we have 7.62 ammo. Quite a bit of it, but no food. Isn't this a kitchen? Shouldn't there be something? Uh, ooh, rotting flesh. I spoke a little too soon. Sounds delicious. A little rotting flesh. All right, well, let's go and see if there's anything behind a picture. What do you want in there? Over here, this little doctor-looking thing. There is something there. Okay, there's a zombie uh, who's on the shower curtain. That's good. Anything in this room here? No. I feel like there's a safe. A wall safe. Nice. I feel like this house is a bust. Yeah, the only uh, thing of value in there was that wall safe, and I just don't have the really don't have any lockpicks or uh, time to break into it. really need to keep working on this uh, horde base. If last night was any indication with all the number of zombies just kicking around the house, kind of wandering around outside, I really couldn't do any upgrading or breaking down for materials or mining down below. Got to get until I have those walls. I've got no protection. And so it's sort of just a, it's a wash. Each and every night is a wash until we get uh, until we get a base built. So I gotta find some other place to loot and get some food. Man, and this building is gonna be. I know what's in here. This thing's dangerous. Some nitrate powder. Boy. Well, let's go find another. This little other place across here. This might work. Let's go in here. Okay, let's sneak in this back door and walk right over the trash. Oh, I didn't make any noise. Lucky me. Probably something in this kitchen. I see some chairs we could pick up. What we really need is food. And, uh, are there any zombies? Some water? No. Damn it. Food? Yes. Yes, food. Yeah, let's run away. We'll put it down a frame outside here, and uh, she's a walker, so it's fine. We can put a frame down, take a little more leisurely. I'm even running out of uh, bandages. Uh, I should probably just make some regular bandages but, so I don't bleed out. But, man, get beat up. There I go. Go down. Nope, not doing well. Just go down. There we go. Okay, uh, I got some honey. Let's eat that food real quick. It's not great. It'll help, but it's not great. All right, back in the kitchen, under the sink, a metal pipe. Uh, that was a schematic I already have. It's bacon and egg schematic. I already have that. Some coffee, maybe. This is some great coffee. Uh, let's see. Oh, jars. That kitchen sucks. <laughs> that was terrible. 
Oh boy. Uh, well, um, let's go check the front room. See if there's anything there. And I just keep walking straight over garbage. I, mm, not smart. Murky water. There's something there. It's in the purse. It is a schematic of some sort. I'm not gonna look at it. Oh no. Oh, I'm not ready to fight another zombie. Well, I decided not to fight that zombie. Probably just one zombie, but I just don't... I just can't risk it. I have one bandage and no food and very low stamina. 47 stamina. I've got to, to eat. So I ran around, picked up some eggs. There were a few nests that had some eggs. So uh, I don't have enough meat, but I have some, some eggs I can boil, or an egg I can boil. Uh, so... Maybe that'll get us somewhere. Add a little bit of food. Well, this isn't going to help, though. We need a miracle, basically. Uh, some some amount of food from some wonderful source. And I don't know where that's going to come from. I have a second egg to work with, but we need to get working on this base. So that's going to be the highest priority. Yeah, food, bottle of water. we got to hope uh, we can uh, we see a deer or something. Because three raw meat just isn't enough to cook up for a steak. So let's work on the base. stamina again. Man, I did find some more eggs and a little bit of corn uh, and some garbage and stuff around uh, sort of in the nearby area. That'll help a little bit, uh, but not a lot. A little bit of eggs, a little bit of corn, a little bit of food poisoning. I hope that doesn't happen, but we're getting there. It's slow, but uh, slow and steady wins the race, I guess. Things are looking pretty good. Let's get these blocks down, this second tier. And we'll put the third tier on top. But once we get these down, that'll be the front of the building, apart from those three wedge tip blocks that are right in front of me because I still have all that concrete stone slabs to break through. But oh, that's pretty good. What was, what was that noise? There's a wolf. Oh, God. All right, run away. Thank God I have a house to... Uh, to work with. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, I'm freaking out a little bit here. I need a block to put down. Let's put down a wooden frame and uh, we'll upgrade it and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll fight this wolf. Open the door. Down you go, wolf. Oh, now he's going to go through this side. All right. I could shoot him. Eh, I think I might be able to just spear the guy. There he is. Oh, never mind. I'll just shoot him. <laughs> Wow, actually, you know, that's fortunate uh, that he makes noise before he comes and attacks you and that you have a place to defend because I need the meat. Something fierce. And I don't have a knife. Oh, no, I'm going to have to hatchet this guy. Well, it's food. And then we can cook that food and get back to work. Uh, that harvesting would have been a lot better with a knife. Well, we have 17 meat now, so that's three pieces of steak. Grilled meat, as it were. That'll keep us going. Uh, that'll help quite a bit. And plus, it's almost, you know, once night falls, we start losing stamina there. Yeah, let's get to work.
All right, finishing touch on that corner. Looking good. The front is done except for those three pieces where I still have to break out the uh, concrete slab. And I just need to dig out this little uh, area right here to put in the wedge tips to finish off this side. That leaves us one side left before uh, this is complete with three high. We're going to go four high once we dig out the, this whole area of uh, dirt. But right now, night's closing in. 2130. We're looking pretty good. I would have liked to have gotten this side done today, but that's okay. It, it'll be done first thing tomorrow morning, or roughly, and then uh, we'll finish up the back side after we clear all the uh, the impediments back there, which is just the, the deck and some of the, the trimming on the windows and so forth. Maybe a door or two, and, uh, and then we're good to go. That'll be day six, and we'll pretty much have a base ready to go on day six. I love it. I think we could have done it faster if we'd had Carl's books to, to work with, but, oh well, this is a great experiment. Certainly learning a lot and trying to figure out how to eat and uh, craft a horde base at the same time. All right, night's almost upon us, and given the way the zombies have been behaving at, at night, meaning I'm getting more and more and more, I'm just going inside. I'm going to do a little cooking, a little inventory management, I've got some food. Yeah, I'm going to get, get myself ready for tomorrow. That's the whole plan. Uh, we've done three sides to this base today, uh, almost complete three sides of the base Fourth will be easy tomorrow. We have uh, plenty of cobblestone. We, are, we can certainly make some more. Um, but we also need to make some more flagstone blocks. And then we're going uh, to be in good shape for day six. I think this will all be finished up by day six. So, thank you all for joining me in my, my Seven Days to Die series. I'm enjoying this. I hope, uh, hope you're liking it as well. And then you'll see here on day six, we'll have a horde base. And we'll have, maybe we'll, some zombies will come by. And they'll help us test it out, right? All right, until then... Uh, this is Sturge signing off. Ciao for now.